Hey Chicken Gang, think of the richest people. Did they save cash to get rich? Uh, uh. So today we are going to talk about debt because there's good debt, bad debt and no debt and how you could use it to change your life. You see, I used to think that debt was bad. If I'm not able to pay off my debt, the banks will come after me and I'll lose everything. My education system taught me that debt was bad and if debt was bad, why governments have the heaviest debt and the richest people have so much debt and we peasants are told that debt is bad. I always ask why and question the status quo. You were taught, get out of debt, get out of debt, wrong. There is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Here are some examples of bad debt. If you're in any of these categories, get out. Credit card debt, paying 20 plus percent a year on interest is the easiest way to go bankrupt. Also, using debt to pay off debt is like taking on a loan to pay off another loan. That's double interest. No! How about car loans? I'm 50-50 on that because monthly interest payments can be pretty high, yet cars may be necessary. So, buy what you can afford. Next is taking on debt to have fun like gambling and buying something that you can't afford. That will set you back many, many years in life from retiring early. If you want to do any of the above, stop. How about no debt, like paying your property in full? If you are in your golden years, fine. But if you are still active, that is one of the stupidest decisions ever. It's so dumb, it is hard to comprehend. It's about how hard your money worked for you. An example. One of my properties cost $1.1 million. I shown you this example before. My ROI on cash, I need to fork out which is my down payment versus paying the property in full. This massive ROI difference and you compound it over 10 years. It's the difference of me driving several Tesla Roasters versus you buying a pathetic BMW. Do you agree with me so far? Any thoughts do let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to read your comments and you know, like read your thoughts. I also appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot in the video reaching out more people and helping in my causes. Thank you so much. What is good debt? In essence, taking on debt to generate returns. The simplest form is mortgage debt because it's often the cheapest. It's the best form of debt. Buying an investment property, perfect. To buy, to stay, it's also fine because your expenses on housing is the interest paid to the bank. Student debt, in my opinion, is also fine. Interest rates are pretty low. So instead of paying up, I'd rather you use the money to invest. Basically, any form of debt that has low interest and if you know how to invest it properly, it is good debt. And look, if you are able to use money to make money, it doesn't make sense for you to pay off low interest debt. I don't like paying off low interest debt and I will try to keep it as long as I can. For businesses, if you are able to take on cheap debt and able to generate high returns like buying a machine and scaling operations, from an ROI point of view, I don't see the point of retiring debt. Wrapping up, there is nothing wrong with debt as long as it's the right kind of debt. It's fine. Can you give me a reason why should I retire good debt? I don't get it. Why so many people want to be debt free? In fact, debt free topics on YouTube is a trend. I watched a few and I really wanted to puke blood. I don't get it. I'm always happy for a healthy debate. Appreciate the earlier thumbs up you gave me. Hope you enjoyed this video. You guys are the best. And remember, if you continue to have bad debt after this video, you are a dumb, 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 donkey. Dumb, 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 donkey. <laughs>